Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm still using a different microphone for today's video while we're getting my other one repaired. Hopefully it's fixed by the time uh, this game comes out because, oh my God. Um, but anyway, today we're talking about all the stuff that's come out uh, over the last day from all the next makers that got to play the game early. And we're also going to be uh, discussing some things that you probably missed in the game. So to give you a quick hot rundown of all the new features that we have seen, uh, trading blows mechanic feature, whatever you want to call it. That looks really cool. I like that. Uh, you can now climb the announce table again after a very long time. Smack Talk said it was about a decade. I'm not sure if that's true, but if so, wow. You can grapple on and off the announce table. We definitely couldn't do that before. The table used to break if you did a suplex near it back in like 2K14 days, so that's awesome. It will break with a finisher, which is what we expect. Super finishes. Cody's triple crossroads, Roman's Superman punch spear combo. You know, Cena's probably going to have a double AA or an avalanche AA. Uh, gets rid of resiliency that your opponent can't use re resiliency. And it uses three finishes. We knew that for a while now. But the resiliency thing, that's pretty cool. And it'd be a great way to like end a match that can't end. You know, if you look back at uh, uh, Edge versus Orton, the greatest match ever. Um, he had to pull out the punt there to, to end the match. And his punt will be a super finisher in the game. So if you don't overuse it, it can be a cool feature. You can pick up and throw water bottles and we're told, we haven't seen, but we're told that they have a special animation. If you do a taunt, maybe you splash the water on yourself, I don't know. Um, and then microphones as well. LA Knight will grab a microphone under the ring. Again, cool, hopefully we can use it as a weapon. We've seen, had our first look at some more of the real referees in the game, uh, Charles Robinson and Jessica Carr. And camera angles, oh my god, bro, this looks awesome. Free cam during AI matches, so you can be a producer, pretty much, which I think is like so something we should have had a long time ago. Not something we asked for, but I'm very thankful they're putting it in. And we know now stage cam can be activated in any match, which is awesome as well. Now, uh, there is a Smack Talks video linked in the description below. I've used some of the footage from his video. So uh, check it out if you want in a bit more in-depth on all of those features. But what I'm here to talk about are two big things that I think are huge. Um, well, huge and, and potentially bad. We'll see. Uh, reversal timing's back. I mentioned it in the video yesterday. And yeah, no one's really talked about it. Reversal timing is back. It's so good. You know, if you're playing online, the same guy spams you with the moves over and over again. Mate you know whether you're late early whatever it is thank god reversal timing's back uh and something else i wanted to point out we haven't seen side plates yet now they've quite often scared us with pre-build uh gameplay with no side plates but you know with some of the showcase stuff we're seeing that's some other stuff that we got um showcase information come out which is pretty cool uh, and matches full matches of showcase uh, we haven't seen any side plates on the belt, so I hope that they are, uh, you know, are still in the game by default. You'd think they are. And yeah, showcase. Um, look, they're probably removing more matches already, but at this point there's 21 matches um, out of 39 WrestleManias. And with, you know, for political, not political, but things I don't want to talk about on my channel, uh, there will probably be some removed from that list. Additionally, I don't know how I feel again about this splicing between the real life footage and the gameplay. I like showcases how they were back in the day. Show us, you know, the greatest moments of the match in the video before or after the match, sure. But let us play the full thing, give us a full gameplay cutscene. To me, it feels lazy and they, they eye this off as some groundbreaking technology how it can flick back and forth bro it's just a transition i do that in sony vegas <laughs> and then the no commentary as well and the weird music they play over the top like it's just yeah i'm, I'm not a huge fan of how they're doing the showcase similar again and no entrances like come on man that's part of the whole thing wrestlemania 40 years of wrestlemania mate 30 40 percent is literally entrances so yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. Um, it's also, uh, you know, it is what it is. Look, it's a showcase mode. 
doesn't take away from everything. Um, and I think we're getting a lot of little things added to the gameplay this year. Like I've mentioned at the start of the video, all the little features, it's good. And I've heard the gameplay is the exact same as last year, but what do we expect? And the final thing I want to point out, I posted on Twitter. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should. Uh, and on community page today, earlier today, that there was a chance. I found out this morning that there was a chance that I could be in the game because Ripley vs. Charlotte confirmed to be in the showcase mode. Let's just say when I got home tonight from work and uh, I actually found a video of the full showcase match. I'm not in the game, man. They, they, cut, they cut off uh, right after they give Ripley the belt and it's all video anyway. I was hoping I got like an inspired model. Uh, me and my dad here with our Aussie finger and Aussie flag. But no, um, unfortunately not. And they didn't even leave the video part in, man. Get me in the game, 2K. Come on. Anyway, I'm tired, guys. I had a huge day. I'm going to get to bed. Um, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. Again, I am playing the game early because I live in Australia. So uh, for specific things you want to see when the game comes out, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. There's going to be a post coming out soon about when I'll go live, but it is almost like a day early. So stay tuned. We're about a month away. Let's get it. See you later.